smile. Listen, can we wrap this up? I thought this would be done by now. I have a patient coming by in 10 minutes. I just want to get the right shot. There, hold it. Hold it. That's it. Am I interrupting? Yes. No. You must be famished and parched. Oh, this is great. Lucy, I was just telling him, I have a patient. So tell me, did he dazzle you? Did you get everything you needed? Well, frankly, I would love another 10 minutes. We barely brushed the surface. We talked for 45 minutes. Yes, but that was mostly about me. <laughs> Tricky thing, interviewing therapists, they always know how to turn the conversation around on you. And I'm not really in an emotional place where I'm strong enough to turn down a little free insight. Ah, yes, well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for, so I'm gonna have you to see, ask that's you that's just like a therapist. Well, perhaps you could stay. This is Richard's last session of the day. Oh, won't you stay? I can cook some supper and... Oh, maybe you could get some shots of Richard with a patient. No, that's... Wouldn't that be great? No, that's... That, that's not allowed. Well, not if she agrees. After all, I mean, this isn't really a real session anyway, is it? Oh, what's that mean? Oh, well, now this may be interesting for your article. Richard. Lucy, that will be all. Thank you, dear. Uh, why don't you show... When me? I'm finished, dear, it's not polite to interrupt. As I was saying... Richard has begun both giving and receiving therapy from one of his patients. I'm a little confused, I guess. How exactly does that work? You know, I'm a little confused by it myself. That's why I was thinking we could just stay in here and you could document the whole experimental therapy session. I'm sure you'll have a real slam-bang article to write out of it. Something really groundbreaking. I would love that, Dr. Pinkett. I'm sure you would, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist that this... have to... Sorry, uh, Impulse. I'm going to need you to sign this. Oh, okay. Richard, do I have the wrong card? No, no, they were just leaving. Actually, we Sorry. would just get to take a call. Hello. Who are all these people? Uh, this is Richard, Dr. Pinkett. Uh, Dr. Pinkett, this is my wife, Beth. Wife? How's it going? And uh, this is Dr. Pinkett's wife. Uh, Lucy, nice to meet you. Hey. Oh, and uh, this is, I don't know who this is. Bill, Bill Stevens, journalist for Psychology Weekly. <laughs> oh, cucumber sandwich? Oh, no. Thank no. you. Thank you. Okay. Well, isn't this cozy? Mm. Alexandria, Richard has been telling me all about this sort of unconventional therapy the two of you have been doing. Unconventional? Oh, I don't know about that. I think it's been pretty straightforward. <laughs> Oh, I don't think you can call it straightforward. Two therapists, both giving and receiving therapy from each other? I've never heard of that. I'm sorry, two therapists? Yes, apparently Alexandria has been providing therapy for Richard and Richard has been providing therapy for Alex. Alexandria. Alexandria. Right, Alexandria. That's what I said. I'm sorry, there must be some mistake. Um, Alexandria's not a therapist. Uh, she isn't? Really? Right, no, of course I'm not a therapist. I'm, I'm the patient. Dr. Pinkett is the therapist, and I am the patient. Well, if she's not a therapist, then what is she? She's a waitress. Oh, waitress? A very good and talented waitress. I'm very proud of her. Well, Richard? Yes. Do you have anything to say? What is there to say? I'm the therapist. She is the patient. Boring old traditional format. So then I guess you were just confused. No, dear, I was not confused. You must be the one who was confused. Well, I'm confused. I see. Well, in that case, Bill, can I offer you another beverage before you go? Oh, you bet you can. <laughs> So, well, that was weird. Yes, you'll have to excuse my wife. She's, uh, she's been hitting the bottle. Wow. I see what you mean. He really just lets it all hang out, doesn't he? So, Beth, how are you feeling? I'm fine. But then, did you mean emotionally or physically? 
I'm going to guess physically because even though you're not a real doctor, you've got that look in your eyes that says you know my prognosis. And I bet Alexandra has told you all about it because she's my little worry wart. <laughs> I love being referred to as a wart. It makes me feel so attractive. I'm sorry, Beth, if I made you feel uncomfortable. Alexandria, why don't you tell me what made you decide to bring Beth in with you today? Actually, oh. Doc, I sort of insisted. Really? Yeah, see, I'm a bit of a nosy Nancy at home. Mm-hmm. And I came across one of Alexandria's therapy bills. And it was for $1,400 for a month's worth of therapy. But then I went on your website and it said that you charge only $120 per hour. So that would mean that she's seen you for... Shoot. How many hours a month is that? I'm sorry, are you asking me? Yeah, sorry. I'm really bad at math. Uh, well, that can't be right because because I've never sent Alexandria a bill. You've never given Alexandria a bill? Uh, no, because I pay cash. Cash, right. <laughs> cash, right. I wonder what that bill was that I saw then. Maybe it was the vocal coach. Vocal coach? Yeah, you should hear her sing, (laughs) my little songbird. (laughs) So how many hours a month is she seeing this vocal coach? You know, I'm not sure this is a very good use of our time. Perhaps if it's really pressing, you can go out and have Lucy fetch you a calculator. Fetch me a calculator? Interesting. Is it? Oh, yes. It is. Listen, Beth, maybe Dr. Pinkett's right. Maybe you should go figure out that equation before you get mental. Okay, if that's what you want. She gets fixated on things sometimes. (laughs) You're not a therapist. Uh... No. You lied to me. Well, you lied to me. What did I lie about? Being a genius? I am. I was. Which is it? What difference does it make? I told you I was losing it. I can't believe you think that I... Is that why you brought Beth in here? Beth came with you to stun me with a math question. No! God, well just... Fuck you then! You're just like my fucking dad! Richard, I'm sorry. I didn't think you were lying. I really didn't. Beth did. You told Beth about me. You told Lucy about me? You're not a therapist! I know, I'm sorry. What were you thinking? I just wanted to help. Why? I thought I could. From your years of experience waiting tables? No. I deserve it. You were vulnerable and I took advantage. You didn't take advantage. Actually... What? Actually, you helped me. I did. Yeah. Probably more than I did you. I don't know about that. But maybe. Yeah. A little bit. How is Beth doing? Is she a test done today? We're just waiting for the call. Good. I hope it is. Yeah, me too. Do you? Of course. Why would you say that? I don't know. You just didn't sound very convincing. Well, I... I, I, Richard! Of course I wanted to get better, but... I also... Um, 
was dancing at a party, holding my Bacardi, waiting for love to fall from the sky. He was twisting in his black jeans, working for the rat team. He turned around and said, baby, you look like it was love at first. I can't. You can't do this. I have all the things I didn't blow out. It's so outrageous that I found you here. But you do you have time for a few more questions now, Dr. Pinkett? Oh, love like